Hi, I'm Thomas and I lead the manufacturing team for 18438 Wolfpack Machina. Before we start, we'd like to thank Seismic Software, Patronic Systems, Marble Harbor Investment Council, and Shopbot Tools for sponsoring our team. If your company is interested in sponsoring our team, you can reach us at any of our contacts listed in the video description. Here's our world record holding robot from last year. As you can see, from the side panels, the wobble goal gripper, and even the shooter, almost every component on the robot is made from our ShopBot CNC. Our ShopBot desktop CNC router is essential to our manufacturing process. Our ShopBot enables us to rapidly produce custom parts that are only bound by our creativity. For any teams looking to purchase a CNC router, we would highly recommend a ShopBot. Before we start, be sure to follow all of ShopBot's official instructions while operating the machine. We recommend checking out ShopBot's website in the description for more information. Today, we'll be showing you a brief overview of our full computer-aided manufacturing, more commonly known as CAM, process. Just to be clear, we couldn't fit a more specific explanation into such a short video, so please don't use your CNC off of just the information in this video. We'd be more than happy to provide mentorship to any teams who want to learn how to operate their machines. Leave a comment or send us a message with the contact information in the description if you're interested. Additionally, I would like to thank FTC alum Spencer from 16896 Black Forest Robotics and Brian Owen from ShopBot for helping us learn how to use our machine. When we bought the CNC, we were already using Fusion 360 for CAD, so we decided to use it for CAM as well. We found that the Fusion manufacturing workspace is easy to use and gives us a ton of flexibility. Choosing a bit is an important decision to make. Your choice, of course, should be dependent on your use case. But for simple 2D cuts in aluminum and polycarbonate, we recommend the Amana Tool 51474Z. It's a super durable end mill bit due in part to its zirconium plating. It also has a 1 8 inch diameter enabling relatively fine detail cuts, especially on aluminum. It's a great choice for FTC and we'll leave a link to it in the description below. The best stock material for you may vary, but in our experience, 6061 aluminum is easy to work with and durable enough for final robot designs. For FTC, we recommend 1 8 or 1 10 inch thick stock. This is an example of 661 aluminum out of 1 8 inch stock. Now let's hop onto Fusion and get started. We almost exclusively manufacture relatively simple 2D extrusions like this one. Since more complicated shapes can be difficult to cam, we recommend keeping your design simple until you have become familiar with the machine and Fusion 360. Again, feel free to contact us for specifics of feed, speeds, and how far to cut through the material. After we've finished designing a piece in Fusion, we switch to the manufacturing workspace. Next, we create a setup which establishes the basics like stock dimensions and orientation of the X, Y, and Z axes. Now that we have our setup, we make a new 2D contour. In this menu, we set specifics that tell our CNC how to cut the piece. We then select the contours that we want the bit to cut. We repeat this process, selecting screw holes first, small interior cut second, and the exterior cut last. This drastically reduces the aluminum chatter, resulting in a smoother and more polished final cut. Once we've specified our settings and select the contours, we simulate the cut. This is a great way of checking whether or not the cut will be a success. And manufacturing details are important, so it definitely pays off to be careful. When the simulation looks good, we post-process the Fusion file into a proprietary ShopBot SPP code that the CNC can understand. Next, we secure the stock and run the cut. Again, make sure to follow ShopBot's instructions for safe use. Now that the cut is done, we remove the piece and get it cleaned up. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.